Hello everybody, today I am going to attempt to hex paint a Siberian Husky for a friend. She would like a completely black one. So, I'm going to open up Pet Workshop and open up, oh shoot, a little rusty so it might take me a minute. First of all, I need to make a backup of my file just in case anything goes wrong. We want to make sure that we have all of our originals good to go. So I'm going to make a new folder and call it backups. Nee, 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 nee. Right. Yeah. Original. No, let's play the game. Hold on. I'm gonna do something. You and Rex go play. Is that? Alright, so now I got my backups all good to go. Now I can go and find my file. Mom! What, sweetie? Is no. that a game? No, nope, it's not a game. You can't touch the screen because it's, it's a touch screen and it makes it do different things. Alright, so I'm going to find my file. Open it up. Now over here you'll see that there's like eyes, textures, balls, variations, scales, and sizes. We're going to be dealing with the variations tab. You're going to go down and find the um, color info override. Press the little square and you'll see these variation groups. And then if you maximize variation group A, you can click on them. Um, this one doesn't do anything. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Apparently I was just doing this, huh? Make sure to click the little circles. So this shows you what variation you're working on. So that one is gray, there's black, blue, cream, dusty, etc. So since we want to make one completely black, I'm going to use the black variation because it will make things easier for me. And then you can see there's other variation groups too, so we need to make sure that we are dealing with the one that we want. So let's see what these ones change. Uh, doesn't look like anything, so we're just going to leave it on one. Okay, this one has to do with the tail tip. See how it changes? So that one has more white, that one's more black, and that one, I don't know what that one does. So I'm going to do number two because it has more black. Again, it just makes it easier for us. Alright, and then we have our last variation group, number three. And it changes the muzzle up here. It just adds more black, so again, I'm going to use the one with more black since I'm going to be um, making the whole thing black. So we have black variation, number one, number two, and number two. So black, one, two, two. Helps to memorize because... Um, sometimes you get it all done in here and then you open it up in the game and it's not right. So sometimes you have to come back in and see why it's not right and it helps to have it on the same exact variation that you did. Okay, so now we're going to start painting. You're going to make sure it's on this little ball up here uh, and it says balls here. And then you're going to click this and pick your color that you want. Since we're going to go for black, we're going to use it in this range. I usually go for 35, but if you want a little bit darker color, you can go a little bit darker. Um, I think this one would look nice as a little bit darker, so I'm going to go with 37. Um, and it's probably going to be darker than all this, so I'll probably have to change it all. Yep, it is. So... 
I can make a choice. I can either go a little bit lighter with the black so that it matches, or I can just change the whole thing to the black color. I really like the black color. The darker black so so I really like the darker color so I'm going to just change the whole thing to this color so all you got to do is just start clicking on the dog and it'll start changing the color um, with these more showy breeds there's a lot of hidden stuff so sometimes it can be difficult to get every every little ball so you'll have to make sure to move it around a lot to make sure that you get them all so you click on all of them that it will allow you to click on um, before you even move it And then to move it, you just um, left click and hold it down and just move it to where you need it to be. And when you're doing all one color, you can see it gets kind of difficult to see, like, where you clicked and where you still need to click. Um, the other thing I, I should probably point out is that um, some files have different variations, like different tell variations and, like, different lip lines and stuff. You can't change the variation um, that I know of in here. You actually have to um, close out of it or just keep opening the file until you get the variation that you want. So like the tail variation or the lip line variations. So every time you open and close it, it gives you a different variation to work with. All right, and you see how I can't click on these right here? That means that they're made out of paintballs. And I'll show you how to get rid of them here in a minute. Make sure to get all of the regular stuff first. Sometimes it's hard to find a clickable spot. Okay, so I'm just going to save this real quick so that if it crashes or anything like that, it's good to go. Um, for the inside of the ears, I'm just going to use a lighter black color. I'll use like 31. And go back to the 37. Alright, so looks like I got everything there. So to get rid of these paint balls, I'm just going to go click on this. Click on paint balls and then select. And then you just click the ball that it's on and click clear. And then it gets rid, of, gets rid of them. Press select again to select the other one and do the same thing. And there's also some right up here. Um, you can't even see them with, when it's not on there. So I'm going to go ahead and clear them off of there as well. I'm going to have to f figure out which ball it's actually on.
There it goes. All right, so we got a pure black husky. And now I also want to change the eyelid color. Um, so you can go in here. You can also pick your eye color, what eye color you want. She would like it with blue eyes. Um, my favorite eye color is 151 or 152, so I'm going to just go with that. And if you get the wrong eye color, it's really easy to fix in the .pet file. And then I'm going to go with the nice dark black for the eyelids. So, we got that. Um, very basic paint. Um, hex editing. So, I saved it. Let's go open up our game and see if it's... if we did it right. So I'm going to find the Siberian Husky. And then if you guys don't know, some people do, some people don't. Um, when you put the dog back in, if you just click Alt-D, it'll bring the same, same breed back out. So it makes it super easy and fast. I'm actually going to turn my sound off so we don't have to listen to it doing that over and over again. Alright, so there we have a black one, but do you see on the muzzle how it still has the white? So that's not what we were looking for, but she was wanting one with white on the muzzle as well, and that just makes it super easy for me. So I'm going to adopt this one. And that's... Um, that's just the paint balls. That's a whole different variation. You can fix that in Lines Pro, but we'll go, oops, wrong one. We'll go over that in a different tutorial. So, let's see if we can get one without the white paint balls. go and you see how the eyes switched up it, they're not both blue like I had asked for it to be but that's really easy to fix so we are also going to adopt this one um, husky okay so now we got our two huskies and this one should have both blue eyes so I'm just going to Close out of that. I'm going to find the file. Let's see, I named it Husky. So, first of all, I'm going to make a backup of it just in case things go wrong. And then I'm, I'm going to move it to the desktop to make it easy to find. And then I'm going to open up Lines Pro. There it goes. I don't know why it took so long. Alright, so I'm going to open up the pet file. And then there's a child and adult. We're going to have to change both of them. So we'll click child. And we have to go down and find where the eyes are. Pretty rusty on this. So I have to remember which ones do what. I want to be in the balls one, I believe. And then, so I know one eye is like in the 150 range. So that's the number that I'm looking for in these two columns right here. So here's 175. Let's see what color that is. I'm click on help, pet editing manual. And then ball numbers, or colors, I mean. Maximize it a little bit more. We'll go to 171 is like a teal color. So 
Um, I don't think that I was teal, but that might have been. So I'm just going to highlight that because that might be what I'm looking for. And the other one was like a brown color, so let's see. All right, here we go. So 55 is like a red color. There's my other window. So 55 is about this color. So that, that looks about right. So let's change, um, we'll change this one to 152. And this one up here to 152 as well. And save. And then we have to go to, into the adult and do the same thing that we just did. So go down to balls info. Two and one fifty two and save. So those should be the eyes. If it's not, then we'll see what we did and we'll have to go back in and try and fix it. So now we are going to cut that and paste it back into here. And open our game and see if that fixed its eyes. And there we go. Both eyes are blue. So we got that one and this one. This one's got the snow nose. I don't know if she wants the snow nose or not, but... We shall see. So there you guys go. Basic hex painting job. Um, we'll get into paint balls and stuff like that in another video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions or anything. Bye.